What's up, everybody? <sighs> I'm here today. Um, just want to talk about a few things. Um, for starters, my day today was... It wasn't all that good. Like, I woke up this morning and I just was not feeling it at all. And that was my status this morning on Facebook at like 6.30 this morning. I wrote, I'm really not feeling it today. And I wasn't. Like, I just wasn't into it. I've been sick. Like, my allergies has been bothering me for like the past two weeks. And I'm just not really receiving any type of relief from that. And so, um, I went into work, you know, hoping that maybe... My kids will either make my day better or make it worse. And um, they weren't all that bad. Um, I just had to cover for my teacher that I work with. And so that frustrated me a bit. Like, I really don't like having things thrown on me at the last minute. And um, I definitely don't like teaching a lesson or teaching anything for that matter without being prepared and being able to look over it first. So that was thrown at me this morning and I wasn't happy about that. But um, it didn't go too bad. Um, the straw that broke the camel's back though was the meeting we had this afternoon. Like, for starters it was on a Thursday. Normally we have our meetings on Tuesdays. And um, so when we have meetings for one, it puts me behind in a sense because it takes up my planning time in the afternoon and um we've recently been talking about just different events that's coming up before the school year is over and in my opinion they're buying off more than that more than they can chew and so i'm sitting in a meeting like <sighs> like i'm seriously ready to go like i can't wait to get up out of there like as soon as it is this i'm gone and so um i had to bring some work home with me today and i haven't brought stuff home with me in like a good it's been a good month or more now that i've been so organized to where i didn't have to bring any stuff home with me so i had to bring some stuff home with me today and um i'm not going to get all of it done but anywho, on a brighter note, um, I have a new subscriber. Um, let me see if I can get their name. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, crap. I think I deleted it. But welcome. You know who you are. And um, hopefully I'll be getting some more. And, uh, yeah, it was something else I wanted to say. Oh, I wanted to know um, if anybody who's watching this video knows where I can get, like, minerals or different types of rocks um, that's found in the Earth's crust. Because next week I'm doing a science lesson on that and it will be nice to have those to share with the students so they can actually see it and not just look at a picture in a book. So, um, someplace I can't think of anywhere that I can go buy them. So, um, if you know of any place that I can go get minerals or different types of rocks that's found in the Earth's crust and the minerals that's found in the Earth's crust and so on and so forth, all that good stuff... For a, um, a decent price, because I'm not trying to spend a lot of money, like $20, $30, um, that would be great. That would be really helpful. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, a little side note for fellow lockers or lock wearers or dreadlocks, whatever you want to call them. Um, do you, like when you get your hair done... Uh, for those who maybe go to a lattice show, even when you, if you do it yourself, uh, I get mine latched, you know, interlocking latch, whichever, um, whatever floats your boat, I don't know. But, um, and I tend to, no matter who does it, um, 
after I get it done, I know it's a little sore, hurts a little bit, but not only that, it itches. It's like my scalp, I just itch uncontrollably. And I put oil, like for instance, I put oil, coconut oil on my scalp last night because I thought, okay, maybe my hair is just dry. I don't know. And it seemed like it made it itch worse. And I'm just, ugh. Like now I'm itching. And I don't know what it is. I really don't. And it's killing me. And I don't know if it's because the tightness or like braids, you know, for weave wearers or whatever. Or ain't not even weave wearers. Just braids, period. Where you get your hair braided and I guess because it's tight. Maybe it makes it itch when it starts to loosen up or stuff. I'm thinking maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just answer my own question. But if you know, if you confirm what I just said, then help me out because I don't know what's going on. I mean, she oils my scalp when she does it. And I don't know. I'm just tired of itching. And it's ridiculous. It makes me look like I'm dirty or my hair is not clean because I'm constantly scratching it. And people already think because you have locks or dreads or whatever that you don't wash your hair or it's dirty or it's not clean or it's nasty or it's stank or it smells. Just all these negative connotations or thoughts about locks and dreadlocks. And I'm always constantly correcting my students. Oh, I like your dreadlocks, Ms. Erica. I'm like, I don't have dreadlocks. I have locks. It's nothing dreadful about my hair. But um, I don't do that to everybody because I know everybody knows them as dreadlocks. And everybody calls them different things. Locks, dreadlocks. But I like to refer mine to be locks. So, um, yeah. So, comment below if you know anything about minerals. Um, different types of rocks is found on earth crust that I could buy for a reasonable price. $20, $30, no more than 30 And about my hair and why it itches after I get done when it first gets retwisted or latched or whatever. And, um, uh, that's it. I'm going to bed early tonight because I'm just done. I'm over it. Anywho, I hope you all had a better day than me. I'm trying not to make this a long video. And I'll see you later. Mwah. Deuces.